Hey everyone, Kabi here. Just wanted to demonstrate the assets manager function of Xedit. Now, why would we want to use assets manager? Okay, I'll just demonstrate real quick. And for those of you who have been screwing around with textures, texture mods, uh, mesh mods, whatever, stuff that changes assets in the game, let's go ahead and load a save where I've encountered the very famous too early pink face bug so you can see here in the icon i have it right here very convenient save and what is a pink face bug well it's what happens when the game cannot find the texture for a file so you can see that these female raiders here clearly have pink faces and that is not what we want that means that the texture the asset there is missing so basically Fallout new vegas the game is looking through all of these mod folders all of these BSA files, and it's not able to find the texture for these female fiends' faces. So let's go ahead and exit out there. That's enough demonstration of why you would want to use the Assets Manager. Essentially, to find these missing textures or missing meshes or whatever is missing, right, in your game. Okay, so let's go ahead and start XEdit, or in my case, FNV Edit, to see how you can fix the pink face problem. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and enable all our ESPs and ESM. So you see all these plugin files. Great. So first things first, we're going to want to go to this hamburger menu, go to options, and then make sure load BSAs is checked. That ensures that all your BSA and BA2 archives, all the textures, all the assets in them are loading so that you don't get false alarms like, oh, all this stuff is missing when it's actually in a BSA file. Okay. So next thing is we're going to figure out which mod is causing the problem. For example, if New Vegas Redesign 3 is causing the problem, like if New Vegas Redesign 3 is enabled and people's faces are pink, we know, okay, probably New Vegas Redesign 3 is pointing to an asset that does not exist, right? For example, if we go to a race here, Wrangler Girl, okay? If her head texture is missing, probably under female head data, uh, one of these DDS files, right? these large icon file names, one of these, these are actual files, for example, in your data folder or in a BSA archive. You can think of them as actual data textures, right? Meshes, whatever. One of these is missing, okay? So that's what is causing the pink face bug. But we don't know for which race, right? We don't want to check all these races and figure out which textures file is missing, right? And there's no easy way to do that on a, without using a script. And the script is very useful. It is called right click, apply script, assets manager. Okay, so let me do that again. We know our problem is in New Vegas Redesign 3, so we right click on that. We go to apply script, and then we select assets manager from the script here. Okay, make sure that this code shows up, and then we click OK. All right, so once you see this, Make sure that all these BSA files are showing up here. If they aren't, if only you see data, that means that you did not click load BSAs in the hamburger menu options. So make sure you've done that already. You have all these BSA files, so it knows that it's looking for textures in here. It's not gonna give false alarms for the textures that are inside these BSA files. Okay, and then you make sure that check for missing assets is checked here, and then you click okay, all right? And it's going to take a while, but you can see that right here, it's list of missing asset files. Okay, and that's going to take a while to load. Okay, so the script has finished running, and we can see a list of missing asset files here. So there may be quite a few missing asset files. So what I like to do is copy and paste this out. Um, or if it's really bit long, for example, there's a lot of missing asset files with the folder like New Vegas Resign 3, right? If a lot of records are pointed to one file that's missing, there's going to be a really long list of missing asset files, but it's really just one file that's missing from a lot of records. But anyways, just go ahead and control A, and then copy and paste all of this into uh, Notepad++, control V here, okay? And a simple way to get rid of all this crud at the beginning is to go ahead and begin and select right there. We go to the top. 
Uh, oops, that's the wrong window. And then we can end select. Okay, and we can delete all this. It's useless. Okay, and now we just have the list of missing asset files and a nice text file here. So I go ahead and look for Raider because we know that female Raiders are missing their faces. So their faces are pink, right? So Raider. Okay, Raider chains. No, I don't think it's the armor. Oh, what do you know? It's the head human DDDS files are missing from FMV redesign Raider Female 6. Okay, so that is the problem that we currently have. So let me go ahead and make sure that. Okay, so if I check my textures, I can see that if I go to characters. Oh, what do you know? I'm missing the folder FNP redesign. Now, a point I'd like to make here is that all the textures from every mod should be loaded into uh, Mod Organizer 2. So all the textures from every mod should be loaded into Mod Organizer 2. So if I have any folders, if I have any textures in a BSA file, if I have any textures in just a regular a folder in the mods folder, it should all be loaded. In fact, even if I have textures in the actual game data folder, which you should never have, right? You should never have textures or anything custom in that folder. Um, they will be, FMV edit will detect them, right? So the fact that it hasn't detected them mean that means that it's missing from somewhere. So as long as I put these textures in any of any mod folder, anywhere where the game can detect it, it will fix the problem, right? When it comes to packaging mod, that's a different story, but Anyways, let me make sure that I go ahead and put these textures in. So the FNV redesign folder, as we can see, FNV designed it has Raider Female One, right? It has the human head human .dds, as well as Raider Female Six has the head human .dds. So this should fix the problem here that these textures are missing, right? So if we ran Asset Manager again, these two lines would no longer be there, but. Let's go ahead and skip that step and just go and launch New Vegas and see what it looks like. Let's see if our female raiders now have their faces back. So yeah, just another point I'd like to make is that once you've found the textures that are missing, you just have to put them in any mod folder, right? Any mod folder in your mod organizer too. Or just, uh, it depends on whatever mod manager you're using, but make sure that you put it somewhere that the game can detect it, right? And if you're going to release this mod, obviously put it in the mod folder that is relevant to what you're releasing. But that aside, I think the point has been given. Let's go ahead and load the save again and see whether our faces show up. So yeah, here you can see that they are clearly here. They're no longer pink, so we've fixed the problem, all right? In short, we identified the problem, which was the pink faces in New Vegas. We identified the mod that was causing those problems, which was New Vegas Redesign 3, okay? We went to exit it, we opened it, and then, oops, I don't wanna have multiple exits. We ran Assets Manager, we found the mod that was missing, or we found the textures that were missing right here, and we put those textures back into the game, and now it works. So that's kind of the process for fixing the pink face texture bugs or any other missing asset bugs you're having with New Vegas or any of these games that use Xedit, right? Hopefully this video was useful, and I'll see you in the next one.